Hi, my name is Zach Harvey Latham. I'm on the men's soccer team here at UMO and I'm from Sydney, Australia. So I started playing soccer or football at around four years old. Um, but back then it was a very, very different game. Everyone was just chasing the ball. I just played it for the enjoyment. Being, a, being able to go out on a Saturday, just kicking around the ball with my friends. Um, that's where I met some of my first few friends and I really enjoyed it then. And then I've been playing it every single year uh, throughout the year. So then, past 16 years now. I've got a brother who's two years older than me and he's currently playing soccer in Alabama at the University of Alabama in Huntsville and I got to got the chance to go visit him in November of 2017 um, and went and visited him fell in love with everything that college was the, the soccer the academics the, the life outside of that stuff meeting new people and just thought it was the right avenue for me to take rather than doing what a lot of my other friends did back at home which is just finish school stay in Sydney and just do university there. Yeah, it all happened pretty quickly with um, my commitment to UMO. I, uh, I had the chance to come over to America and have a few official visits at different schools and UMO wasn't actually one of them. Um, they they came in contact with me after I got home, but just getting, getting to know the coaches and they sold me a dream basically with everything that the school was, the, the team, I got to speak to a few players and just felt like the right fit for me. Yeah, so obviously coming over, moving over to the other side of the world was, was a pretty difficult move. Um, and two, two months before I came over here, my mum's father passed away, which was really, really difficult to leave her in, when she was in such a vulnerable state. And then just two days after I arrived here, my mum's mum um, passed away as well. So that was really difficult um, at the start. Yeah, so the, my first few weeks at, at UMO, or just in, in America um, in general, were, were really tough. Like I mentioned before, with my grandma passing away, it was, um, it was a really tough time being away from my family. The first time I'd been away for any significant period of time. So I didn't really know how to, how to properly react to it. So um, it made me really question if this was for me, if the whole American journey was for me. Um, but it, was, it really came down to my coaches and my closest friends that I, that I came, became friends with over my first two weeks here. They were my, real, they were my rocks, um, could talk to them about anything and they were, they're really the reason why I'm still here. Yeah, so Sean was the head coach that recruited me here. Um, touching back on um, my, my grandma, uh, he was the first person that I told. I didn't really know um, who to tell. I really wanted to tell someone and I told him and I'm so happy that I did. He was, he was a father figure when I didn't have any, um, didn't have any family anywhere near 10,000 miles away was my closest family member back home. So um, he was, it was really, really integral in keeping me here um, when I was really struggling. So yeah, he, he was, he's had a huge influence on my college career so far. Uh, it was 2020 spring, um, just my second semester over here. Uh, we got forced home due to COVID. So I had two days basically to, to pack up everything and uh, to leave the country. Um, so I finished that, finished the spring semester online um, and then had the summer off. Then fall of 2020, I was actually, I was unable to come back to uh, America. Just it was proving way too difficult with the, being able to leave the country. I wasn't allowed to, to come back in December then. So uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't actually come back in the fall, which is a bit of a shame because I uh, had a new coach. Um, I really wanted to get after it in the, in the fall, um, but I just, I just took the semester off and, and was able to come back in the spring of 2021. University, it's, it's full, of, full of difficult situations, um, from injuries to bad results on the field, bad form, poor, poor performance in the classroom, and, and external factors um, like, like loss, of, loss of loved ones. It's, they all, they're all really difficult to deal with. Um, and I, I don't think I could say that there's been, there's been one, one, moment that, one moment that's been um, isolated as the most difficult. I think it's just everything, everything, the whole college, college life um, is, is difficult in nature. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been difficult, but the, the goods outweigh the bads hugely. It's been so much more fun than, than difficult for me. Yeah, so um, uh, late spring, um, of 2021, I, I lost a friend of mine to, to suicide, which was again really, really difficult to deal with. Um, it was a couple of days before I left, so I had to 
had to go home, spend two weeks in hotel quarantine, um, knowing I was so close to all my friends and everyone that was affected by it. Um, but I couldn't hug them. I couldn't couldn't talk to them face to face, which was it was really difficult. Um, but it's it's actually become a shining light. The fact. Of, uh, the fact of his death um, it's kind of gotten my whole group back home to start talking about suicide, talking about mental health, especially as as male, as young men. Um, it's a massive problem that's facing young men all across the world, not just in Australia, not just back home, all across the world. So it's, it's been a it's a silver lining to such a such a terrible situation that the conversation about mental health has really become a topic. It was it was obviously difficult um, coming back here knowing that it can happen to anyone um, mental health can take anyone down at any point so um, it's, it's kind of woken me up and and scared me thinking that the people that I saw a couple of weeks ago I may never see again but that's just taught me to to live in the moment that I'm in and when I was back over the summer I was living every single moment that I could when I was outside of lockdown that was um, just trying to make those cherishable moments with my friends so that if anything was to happen um, that I'd be able to call on those memories. So my plan after I graduate is to, to go home get my masters in um, physiotherapy or sports psychology I haven't quite na uh, narrowed down that single discipline just yet um, and then go into the field of either sports psychology or physiotherapy oh yeah so college college teaches teaches you a lot of things some some good things some bad things it tests you in so many different ways um, but I think it taught me the biggest thing college has taught me is a, a deeper sense of courage inside myself um, I know it sounds corny and all that but uh, the challenges I faced and not being able to, to rely on my family, which I felt like I was, I was quite spoon-fed as a kid growing up. I would, was always able to call on a brother, a sister, a mum or a dad and I know I still can but there's some things you have to uh, deal with yourself and I've, I've learned that and I've become a lot better at that since I've been here. Yeah, so if I went, went back to freshman year with all the knowledge that I have now, I think I would have acted acted a little bit differently. Um, again, it sounds corny, but, but live in the moment. This is my third year here. It feels like two weeks ago that I was moving into Grantham for the first time and meeting my freshman roommate and meeting the rest of the team and it just flies by. Um, so yeah, live in the moment, cher make cherishable memories, get, get out there, talk to people because the people you have here at college are going to be the people closest to you. They're going to be the family away from family. So yeah, meet new people, cherish every moment and make memories.